Welcome to Serif Web Plus X4. While Web Plus provides a wide range of design templates that you can use as starting points for your own sites, there may be times when you want to create a site from scratch. In this tutorial, I'm going to create a site for a scuba diving club. Let's get started. From the Startup Wizard, I choose Start New Site. My site opens with a blank home page open in the workspace. I want to add more pages, but before I do this, I'm going to change my page size. I can do this in the Site Manager. First, I'll change my master page size, because all my site pages are going to be based on this master page. And now I'll make the same change in the Page Properties section. I want all pages that I add to my site to adopt these page dimensions, so to do this, I need to change the default page size. This is set in the Site Properties dialog, which is accessed from the File menu. I've planned my site content, and I know that I'll need eight more pages, so let's add them now. On the Site tab, I expand the Add New Page flyout, and click New Blank Page. I'll name my page. This is the text that will display on my navigation bar. I'll repeat these steps to add my other pages. Great, I've added my site pages. Now I'm going to create a colour scheme for my site. Let's open the Colour Scheme Designer. The Colour Schemes tab displays all of the pre-designed schemes provided in Web+. By default, when you create a new site, the Atlantis scheme is applied. You can see that the scheme is highlighted. I'm going to use this scheme as the basis for a new custom scheme. I'm happy with colours 1 to 4, but I want to change scheme colour 5 from pale blue to white. To do this, I click this arrow here, and then select my new colour from the displayed palette. I'll use the same method to change all the hyperlink text colours to orange. Finally, I'd like the background of my site pages to be dark blue in colour rather than white. I can't see the exact colour I want in the palette, so I click More Colours, click in the blue area of the spectrum, and then click in the large square to set my custom colour. Now I'll save my custom palette, and click OK to apply it. And my page has adopted the new background colour. I'll now add a picture, a nameplate, and a navigation bar to the top of my page. I'm going to add these to the master page so that they will display on all pages of my site. To start, I'll insert an empty picture frame. I've already added the photos I want to use in my site to the media bar. So to add one to this frame, I can just drag it directly onto the frame. You can also click this button and then browse to locate your picture. Now I'll add my nameplate. I click the Artistic Text tool, click once on my page to set my insertion point. I'll set my font style on the Context toolbar, and now I can just type my text. I'm going to apply a gradient fill to this text. So I click the Fill tool, and drag across the text to define my fill path. On the context toolbar, I can change the colour of the gradient by selecting scheme colours from the fill start and fill end drop down palettes. I'll complete my nameplate with an item from the Web Plus Gallery. Before I add my navigation bar, I'm going to quickly create a gel button effect using quick shapes with gradient fills applied. I'll place my navigation bar on top of this shape. Just click Insert Navigation Bar. 
Select your preferred navigation bar type from the drop down list. Choose the navigation bar you want to use and click select. The top level navigation type is selected by default and this is exactly what I want so I don't need to change this. The style tab lets me change the appearance of the navigation bar. I'm just going to change the main text color to white with bold weight. And I'll also change my current page, rollover link and submenu text color to orange. All my master page elements are in place. Let's return to the home page now. Next, we'll add a photo and a text frame. As before, I'm going to place my photo inside a picture frame. And I'll use the artistic text tool to add a caption. Finally, I'll add an HTML text frame. I'll just fill the frame with placeholder text for now. Let's preview our site in a web browser. Additional pages of my site include a photo gallery, a blog and an e-commerce shop. You can find step-by-step -step instructions for adding this functionality in the PDF tutorials available from the Learning Zone.